Hey guys, so I know I've been away for a couple of weeks and there hasn't been a video up. This is because I have a new job! <laughs> Woo! Um, so, because I have a new job, I haven't sort of figured out a routine of filming and editing and uploading. Um, because I don't get home from work until 6 o'clock. So, and then when I get home, I'm tired. Um, and I don't think you want to see a video of me just being all tired and miserable and stuff like that. So I am figuring out a way to sort of film videos, upload and work at the same time. Um, so just bear with me and there will be videos uploading on the schedules that I've already stated. Um, so yeah. But today's video is going to be my October favourites. So let's get crack cracking, shall we? Skincare. So the first bit of skincare that I have that I've been loving is the Nivea water. I don't know if you can see that very clearly. Um, this is for sensitive skin because I do have sensitive skin. Um, but this I use to take off my makeup of an evening um, and sometimes when I don't wear makeup I just use it anyway just to refresh my face refresh my face I got this in my glossy box and I, I kept saying I was going to do a blog post on it I've not got around to doing a blog post on it so I will do a blog post on this later on um, but this has been my favourite this month, but I have used it a number of times and I just think it's really good, so I'll definitely be purchasing this again. So yeah, that's number one. Number two, oh, this one's alive, is the Skin Therapy Moisturising mo Body <laughs> Lotion. Now I just normally use it, use, oh I can't even speak today. I normally use this when I get out of the shower just because it makes my skin feel all fresh and nice and smooth and soft. Um, it also it smells quite fruity. I can't actually put the finger on what it actually smells of, but it just it does smell quite fruit fruity. And I just really love this product. This is a new bottle, so I have recently just purchased this one again. Um, I think I think I spoke about this in another favourites video that I used in that particular month, and then I sort of forgot about it and stopped using it, and then I went back and started using it again, and I just love it. Um, this is also for sensitive skin, so if you do have sensitive skin. This is perfect for you and I would recommend it. The next thing is these baby moisturising wipes from Simples. Now I didn't know Simples do baby wipes, didn't know that until the other day my mum sort of brung them home and I've just been using them ever since and I love them. They're super soft and they don't have much fragrance in, but they do smell a bit, so I'm pretty sure that they do have fragrance in. Um, they're just like normal baby wipes, really, but these ones are sort of for sensitive skin, and I love them. And the last part of my skincare that I love, that I have been loving, is this um, hand cream from Figs and Roots. Rouge? 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 Yeah. I can't even speak. Um, and this is called, this is the Roseberry Hand Cream. Now, I have been loving this. It smells so good. So that's what then looks like. But it smells so good and it really makes your hands nice and smooth. I literally just carry, around, carry this around in my handbag all week long so sort of every day and I've been doing it for the last month I got this in my glossy box as well 
And ever since I have been using this and I will definitely be purchasing this again. Um, it just sm it smells so good, man. So onto makeup and hair. Now everybody has been going on about the Tangle Teasers and saying how brilliant they are and you need to have one and everything. And I was planning to get one and then one day my mum come home with the, it's called the Tangle Attack. Oh, it's got loads of hair on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have been using it. Proof I've been using it. Um, it's called the Tangle Attack and it's basically a Tangle Teaser. Just with a different name. And this one you get a little mirror in. And then you get the brush, obviously. Um, that has my hair in. I'm sorry. I've not cleaned it out yet. But this is just proof that I've been using it. And I literally love this. I have been carrying it around in my bag everywhere I go. Um, it's perfect for when I get out of the shower, after washing my hair, and my hair is just complete knots. No other brush can get through the knots in my hair other than this. Um, so, yeah, I, I love this. Been using it every day. So, thanks, Mum. And then, oh, this is the hairspray that I have been using for all month. Um, I find this is really good for when you curl your hair, because well, I used to curl my hair and use just another hairspray, um, and it used to the curls used to always fall out. With this. They sort of hold long enough so I can use this and my curls will stay in all day. Whereas um, the other ones just wasn't staying in. So I've been using this and I've been loving this. This is sort of my like go to hairspray. Um, I know I've not got much hair to curl at the moment, but when I can curl my hair, this is the go to hairspray I will be using. On to makeup, I have been loving this blusher from M MUA Makeup Collection. Um, as you can see, it's got like, it's just gone all over me. Fantastic. It's got the hole in where I've been using it so much. And this is in the colour Lolly. Um, I don't know if I featured this in another video before, but I've just been loving this. I used to always use a Topshop one, and then I started using this, and forgot about my Topshop one. So I love this. I've also got another colour that's darker than this as well to try out. Um, once I've tried that out, I will feature that on my blog. So go over there and check that out. Um... I, I've also been loving this lip gloss. I've actually got it on now. Um, this just looks like this. This is the fake bake. I think it's fake bake lipstick. Um, I haven't got. Oh, here you go. It says on top. Um, the colour is domestically disabled. Brilliant names. Um, I've just been loving this. My cousin and aunt had been selling these and my mum bought a couple and this has been my favourite so far. Um, I've sort of been, just been wearing this every day to work just because it lasts all day and I don't need to keep topping it up. And it's the perfect sort of colour for an office environment. It's not too bright and it's not too dull. And it's not too out there, it's just in the middle sort of thing. So, love this. And then, finally, on makeup, is my BB cream. Now, a lot of you may know that the only face product that I sort of use on my face, foundation-wise, is um, BB cream. Because I don't like the texture of foundation, I just find it's too thick. And I just don't like foundation basically. 
So this is the alternative that I have been going to. So it just looks like that. Um, I have got that on now. And that is all I've got on my face. I sort of... I don't know. Like, I struggle to find a perfect BB cream or whatever you want to call it that um, sort of had perfect coverage of a foundation that wasn't as thick as foundation um, so I've tried a couple I've tried the MUA one and I found that didn't really hold and didn't you know but this one I found holds for 24 hours and it's perfect I mean because when I get hot and my cheeks go bright red and um, on the other BB creams they were coming through as bright bright red and th that's kind of embarrassing so when I was using this my cheeks don't go they go red but they don't go as red with this so it's perfect coverage for me and I just love the product it doesn't smell too good it kind of smells like wet wipes I guess I don't know but it, it just doesn't smell too good but it is perfect coverage and I do love it so I would recommend this product if you don't like foundation texture and you're looking for a BB cream that has perfect coverage this is the one to go to um, it also has a SPF of 15 which is fantastic not that we're gonna use it now because well, it's coming into winter, so there you go. But go to BB Cream accessories. So the accessories that I have been loving are oh, are these headphones. These are my Skull Candy headphones that are sort of wearing away now. I've had them for so long. Let me just pop them on; it'd be easier. Um, I sort of forgot about these and because I've been using the iPhone headphones for like ages and I totally forgot about these and then my iPhone headphones broke and I was kind of being a cheapskate and was like I'm not going to buy some new headphones and then I realised I had these so I just basically started using these again I love these, these give out the best sound of music, best quality, not sound, what the hell, of music, and yeah, I'm quite annoyed that I forgot I had these, to be honest, but yeah, I've just been using these to listen to music on my phone and iPod, yes, I'm using an iPod, because my phone doesn't have much music space, yeah, so yeah, I just love these. Um, oh. Right, so in autumn, the shoes I have been wearing most to my new job have been these babies. Now, I had these last year and I didn't really wear them because they just gave me blisters and well, I hadn't worn them in. But this year, I've just found them so comfortable that I, I've just literally been wearing them with everything. I don't know, I just sort of love them. They're like little ankle boots. And I've just been wearing them with everything, basically. Um, yeah. I got these from Shoe Zone last year. But they have got them back in stock, if anybody is interested in buying them. Um, so, yeah, that's the first pair. Now, I know these are not to everybody's taste, but I friggin' well love them. Can we just take a moment, seriously, look at these babies, look at them, I love these, now these I got from Primark, right, everybody says, oh Primark shoes don't last all this, look at the sole, oh, basically I went in there to look for a pair of loafers and they didn't have them in my size, so, I got these, <laughs> I got these, now I know they're not to everybody's taste, but I don't know, I kind of 
find them cute. And they, they do look seriously better on. So, yeah. These were £14, I think. I, I love them. They do come in black as well. But again, they didn't have black in my size. So, I went for the burgundy. Or wine is, is what they call them. But I think it's burgundy. My last accessory that I have been loving, I've classed this under accessory because it's only one product and I don't particularly think, I, I think it's an accessory basically, is this, oh I can't find it, um, perfume. Now let's just talk about the perfume bottle. I love the bottle. Now if you know me, you know that I love skulls and this is just amazing. Wow. Um, this is the perfume of police. Oh no! This is the police perfume, basically called Queen. Oh, I love this. It smells so good. I have literally just been wearing this all month. I have sort of forgotten about all the other perfumes I own, and oh, I just love this. And this um, sits on my. A sort of perfume shelf I have a perfume shelf that you will see in a room tour that I am planning to do once I've finished sort of getting the last touches of my room done um, but this sits on my shelf and it looks so good because it's a skull yeah I'm obsessed with skulls and this just sums me up and I love the smell another one of my favourite accessories that I have been loving are these glasses now these are my new glasses I freaking love them um, I've never thought like sort of square rectangle whatever you want to call it shaped glasses would suit me but they actually do and I like them so yeah um, one of my favourite things that I have been loving this month is this locket now this is my nan roses that I got given when she passed away um, as sort of a keepsake of to remember her by um, and I have just been loving this I've managed to put oh, a photos inside now the photos don't actually fit properly because I cut them round and then by the time I've got it in you can still see some of the blue back in but I'm just going to do a little, this bit, this here is my granddad Terry and my nan Rose and then this side is my granddad Alan and my nan Pat. So yeah, I've just been loving that recently, um, I just love this so much, like I can't even explain, so yeah. That's that that I've been loving. We are on to food and drink. Now, obviously I love tea. I, I'm a teapot, okay? We all know that. So I'm not going to feature tea bags because we all know that I just love tea all year round. Um, but on the subject of hot drinks, this hot chocolate is amazing. Now, I, I originally bought this for work. So when I'm in work, I can make myself hot chocolate if I'm just feeling hot chocolate vibes. Um, so I went, I got this at the pound store, and I went to the pound store to get this because um, I was going to get the Cadbury's version, but they didn't have Cadbury's. All they had was this, and I was a bit like, oh, never heard of this make. Don't know how it's going to be. It's a pound. Let's get it. So basically, I got it. And I friggin' love this. Now I have actually used near enough all of it. I don't know if you can see that. It's nearly all gone because I love it so much. Like I normally have to put milk in to make it not as strong and I, I do a lot of fiddling around with it basically. Um but with this I literally just put this two spoonfuls of it into a cup and then just add hot water. And that is it. 
it's amazing it you know, i don't even have to have sugar or anything because it's sweet enough without the sugar um yeah love this and it's a pound so it's amazing um in the mornings i haven't had time to get to have breakfast basically so i literally just take one of these a pack of these with you with me not you with me because they come in a pack of four there's four of the biscuits in a packet so i've literally just been grabbing these and taking them on the go now this flavor is honey and nut with choc chip choc chips choc Choc chips, basically, and I have been loving these. Um, I love the oh, there's a, there's there's another one that's like the cereal one. I can't think of what it's called, but they're amazing. I love these. I never thought I'd like these because I thought, oh, no. I've always seen them advertised on TV, and I've always thought, no, 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 I'm not gonna like them. I'm not gonna like them. I love these. I've been literally just using these for the whole month <laughs> and ever since I started work basically and they they actually fill you up. They're nice on their own, they fill you up but they're also nice with a cup of tea, like dipped in a cup of tea. Best. Get me, get me a box of those, I'm happy. The next thing that I've been loving are these Alpen bars in the strawberry flavour. I don't seem to like any of the other flavours. Or the only flavour I like is the strawberry flavour. Now, sometimes when I've not got these left, I'll get these, or vice versa. Um, yeah, I just love these. I love the fact that they've got all the little strawberry bits in the biscuits. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. It's, it's just nice, and I just love them. Oh, here you go. So this is what the actual packet looks like. Like that. Um, yeah, I just love these. These don't fill you up as much as the the Vita bars. Biscuit bars, whatever you want to call them. Um, so when I get to work after having one of these, I do end up having to get something else to eat because I know, because I'm diabetic, I know it's not going to last me until lunch so I do get something in work but they're just as nice they don't fill you up but I do like them so yeah that was all my favourite favourites of October's I hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the down bar the comments section what you have enjoyed this month or send me a link to your video just let me know i love you guys and i will see you next week bye guys